Capricorns, welcome. This is your heart spread reading for mid-January 2022. It's a love, romance, and relationship reading for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus signs. And this is reading for you, shown here by the Queen of Wands, and the one that's most on your mind, the one that's in your heart, your other, as shown by the Ten of Wands here. So I noticed the bottom of the deck, which I count heavily, is the Page of Cups. And this is a love and romance channel, and this is the love and romance card. So um, I see this as being new. If not, I ask you to kind of go back to uh, when the relationship first started. Kind of think about what I'm saying from that point of view. Um, but I would say this started as an immense uh, love attraction, probably for both of you. Um, they are. This is moving kind of into the reading, so... Um, definitely on your part, even though you're showing up in love and relationships right now with the Queen of Swords energy, uh, Caps, which is cool, calm, and collected, um, it's a nice energy to go into relationships with, um, so, uh, maybe, you know, you've kind of mastered your emotions, this, this Knight of Cups, it's like, it's there in you, you're interested, um, you're capable of being emotionally available, um, but, uh, you've leveled up, uh, you've matured, um, you're very honest, you're very direct, you're very open, just in terms of love and relationships in general. So now your person coming in, they, they got two pages here. This is how they feel about you. This is advice from spirit for them in regards to your relationship. So clearly you're coming in as a queen and you have the high priestess and your reaction to them. Um, you are all, if this is your reading, you are more mature than them, probably older than them, more substantial than them. Um, in, uh, now it doesn't weigh in terms of you're like, I'm not saying you're a better person, but that's just, that's gotta be the way it is with two, two pages here. And your person in terms of love, romance, relationship, um, they probably feel like they've done everything they can and it doesn't work if there were in a relationship. Um, uh, they feel like they've kind of exhausted all their options. They don't know what else to do. It's a very difficult energy to come into a relationship with. Um, and so I really see this. And I'm not so big on to the codependency and everything. It's how we grow. We come together. There's soul contracts. We do work. You know, sometimes it's forever. Sometimes it's not. And you know, sometimes when it's not, it's amazing. I'm not saying it's not, but uh, this is a, a powerful connection here where I believe that you are going to be carrying more than 50% in probably every way, uh, physically, emotionally, uh, spiritually even. I mean, you're reacting to them as the high priestess. I mean, really, with the Page of Cups, it's very sweet energy. It, it It's almost like the high priestess to the Page of Cups is, is like... Uh, you see them as uh, this adorable, sweet uh, thing, like almost like a pet kind of energy. Um, like you, you're walking by and seeing like puppies or kittens in the, in the window, and you're just ooing and awing. Uh, and they're really connecting with you emotionally, um, um, like you're feeding them emotionally. Uh, with your high priestess energy. Also, I believe that you come in and they're going to tell you their problems and you're going to slice right through them, uh, both the practically, decisively, intellectually. And at the same time, you're going to meet them with this page and they're going to be very accepting of your intuition and your life knowledge and your higher self. Um, if this is a twin flame relationship, you're 100% the activator. They're totally the sleeper. But they immediately awaken to you, at least emotionally, to being drawn to you, okay? Um, I just see it as a very powerful and positive relationship. And they're not always equal, and that's just how it works. Um, you know, soul contracts, I don't think it, it's just balancing. You know, you guys have energy, and you bring this together, and you balance, and they grow, and um, they give you something you need, you know? Uh, with this page of cups, I think they, they give you a lot of love, you know? When you're in this page of swords energy, it's because, you know, you've had to be a little hard. And remember, the bottom of the deck is, yeah, the Knight of Cups. So it's there. You want love. 
okay? You want love. It's just you've learned to test it and be careful. And they're approaching you, I'd say, in just the right way, another way to put this. Now, in terms of uh, advice from spirit, this is for you, Capricorn, in the relationship. This is an ace of pentacles. So I, it's to me, when I saw that, that was for a Capricorn. That's earth energy. That's go, go, go. So you, you're finding that you want to commit to this person. This is advice from spirit. So and if you're, and it's coming under the high priestess, the high priestess is advice from spirit. So you would very much be in sync, you know, like it could be tarot reader yourself or, you know, relying on your own tuition, intuition heavily. Um, so you probably would already be feeling this. Like this is kind of, this is the one, this is a big commitment here with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, and it's something just starting. It's something uh, long-term. Now look at them looking right at you now with the page of swords here. So this is advice from spirit. And this is advice for if you're cross watching here for Capricorn or Capricorn, if you'd like to share this, if it resonates, I'd love this to be used that way. Um, spirit's really asking you, it's like, even though maybe you don't feel like you're enough or you maybe don't feel like you have a lot to say or really anything to assert, um, it's for you to assert yourself and not just in a, a natural way to feel free to speak up for yourself. Um, you know, um, you you don't have to lose yourself in this relationship because, uh, frankly, if there's a cross watcher, you're dealing with a very high functioning Capricorn here um, who is spiritual in nature. And, you know, and they're not going to be uh, bringing to you any kind of low vibrational codependent toxic behaviors okay so then we get to the three of cups here this is purely about celebration it's a lot about emotionally opening up you know your person wants this this page okay of cups you want it you come in with the knight of cups you're the high priestess you know and this is emotionally both of you really opening up to each other and loosening up okay and and this is good sex too between you guys. It's not about a third party. Um, it's both of you sort of dropping down into your emotions, a feeling that you can be vulnerable. You can be open. This is a strong connection, this high priestess to the page of cups. Um, I would expect to see this in sinistry, uh, Venus conjunct Neptune in sinistry, uh, you know, Venus conjunct the moon, uh, you know, something really powerful, Venus on the uh, descendant like this, Venus on the IC. Um, it almost could be sort of a psychic connection you might feel. Um, when you, I think you would 100% though are going to be taking the lead. That's the advice in this. But you end up, you know, with the emperor as the outcome, um, that's ending up with the Aries composite. If you, have, if you know the composite, if you know their time, Please leave your message. I would love to just know, even if it's not Aries, if you don't have a first house sun in your composite relationship chart, uh, sun and Aries in your composite relationship chart, like this. And um, so you're going to end up, um, when you come together, maybe that's what they bring you. I think kind of what they're bringing to your already, your stability and, and your emotional and spiritual maturity is they're bringing, uh, you know, um, fun and uh, getting out and having fun and uh, romance. Romance, this is romance here, the Three of Cups. Um, and it's going to end up making you stronger, making you both stronger. I mean, kind of, they're going to be stronger for obvious reasons. Frankly, from being exposed to you, um, for one. And, and you're going to be ex much stronger because you're opening up yourself emotionally. You're dropping down. This is the I see the crux of the heart spread here, the core of it all, the advice from spirit. So be advised too. This is the advice from spirit. Go ahead and have some fun. I've said this before. The two of you go get a nice hotel room uh, on the beach uh, and just stay for three days and order room service and really have fun together. Go to the mountains and get a cabin with a jacuzzi or go to the something like that, uh, preferably without Wi-Fi and just really spend time together. And otherwise, this is emphasis upon romance. So at every point, you know, it's really enjoy and uh, allow, you know, if you're on the spiritual side, if you've been withholding, if you've been holding back, 
you know you want it <laughs> you know really enjoy the romantic phase of this relationship and um um for all it's worth that's what i would say caps so thank you guys i hope you like this please do hit a like helps a lot push the algorithm along get this out a little bit more and if you haven't subscribed please do appreciate the help thank you guys